you know that it's always a beautiful day when we head out to Dollar Tree. And this time we are going to the craft section. We are going to find metal plaques. I'm sure you've seen these galvanized metal plaques at Dollar Tree. They have tons and in different shapes as well. This one has a very corrugated look to it. And as soon as I saw it, I knew that I had to create something really cool for fall. I'm also going to take this little box you can also find at the crafting aisle at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to give it one coat of Waywelly Chalkman in the white. And I'm going to do the outside as well as the inside of the walls. I'm not worried about the bottom because you won't be able to see that. While that dries, I am going to take the corrugated plaque and I am going to fold it in half. Not all the way, kind of like just looking like a little tent. Once I have it there, I'm going to take some foam. This is just foam from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut a little triangle. A triangle is because it's going to fit nicely in that upper corner where it folds and I'm just going to add hot glue and attach it. I did the same thing on the other side and this is where we're going to attach a dial. We're going to create a little pumpkin patch, like a little pumpkin cart where you can buy pumpkins. <laughs> All right, so now that I have that attached, I'm going to bring in the box and I'm going to add foam to it as well. A couple to the sides to begin with. I'm just going to add it with hot glue and that way we can attach the dowels to that part as well. I'm going to measure 10 inches on each dowel and just cut the excess. You can cut it as tall or as short as you want. It's up to you. I'm going to add hot glue to the foam on the roof first. Hold it for a little while until it hardens and then do the other side. And then I'm going to place a lot more hot glue right there just so that everything joins and hardens very nicely. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to place it on the bottom foam and then add tons of hot glue again so that it does not go anywhere. Now we're going to keep adding foam to the base just to the bottom. This is because we are going to add a little bit of florals in it and we want to make sure it has something to grab onto. So I'm just going to add it here and there with hot glue until the entire bottom of it is covered. Then we're going to start adding some craft paper. This is just to add fullness and height to that bottom part so that the pumpkins don't fall down. And then add moss to cover everything up. You can find this at Dollar Tree. You can also use a green moss if you can't find the Spanish moss. I want to add these fabric pumpkins. You can find these at Dollar Tree. They come three in a pack. And they're fabric and they just have beautiful colors. I'm also going to take this garland that I found recently at the Dollar Tree Plus. Which currently my Dollar Tree is a Dollar Tree Plus and I'm so excited. So I'm going to take one of the little candy corns, add a skewer stick to the bottom and just place it. And then just keep adding florals and pumpkins. Whatever you want to add is fine. Just add skewers as needed, hot glue as needed, making sure that everything's nice and secure. A lot of these crafts today you can actually sell for a profit. So you want to make sure that everything looks professional and that it holds on and nothing's going to fall off. Now that everything's put together, I'm going to Mod Podge one of these window clings. I am obsessed with these window clings. They're so easy to work with and so fun. I'm going to place this one that says pumpkin patch right in the front. And then we're going to add one more layer of uh, Mod Podge just to make sure that it seals in very nicely. And it does dry clear so it works well. We did have some excess cling on the bottom and the top. So I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife and just kind of slice it off. No big deal. You can use scissors if you want as well. Look how stunning this looks. You can also maybe distress the tin roof, but I think it looks gorgeous this way. Let me know what you think. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to start with this Dollar Tree Plus plaque. It is wooden, it is large, and it was only $3. It comes with the sawtooth hooks already attached to it. These are the perfect blanks to create signs that you can actually sell for a profit. Just saying. All right, I'm going to take uh, the sticker off and then I'm just going to give it one coat of the Waverly Chalk Mint in the white and we're going to let it dry. Once dry, I'm going to sand it down very lightly. This is just to smooth it out and make sure you wipe it very well. These stencils are from Essential Stencils and I'm just going to start with this tree. They come four trees in a pack, but I'm going to use three of them. And I'll place the first one right in the center. These are one of my favorite stenciling brushes currently, and I do have them on my Amazon store if you want to check them out. They work really well. So I'm just going to make sure that I work the paint inside the brush, almost like it's going to be a dry brush technique. And then I'm just going to do a round and around motion, and I'm going to use multiple colors. I want these trees to look like they are from fall, and they're changing in the colors. So I'm just going to use orange and green and yellow, and you're going to see for the second one, I do the same thing. They're going to be similar but they're going to be different. I'm just going to let you watch as I do this. 
All right, friends, you know that I would love to connect with you on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I always have those links down below in the description box. So make sure you go check them out when you are done watching. Don't these look just adorable? I love these trees. And if it was a larger plank, I would totally use the fourth tree. All right, so now we're going to place some ribbon. Now, before you cut ribbon, just make sure you kind of measure, you dry fit how much you need and then cut. I've made that mistake many times where I cut and then I didn't have enough or I cut too much and then it's just wasteful. I'm going to make a very simple double loop bow and then I'm also going to take this pumpkin ribbon from Dollar Tree which is gorgeous. Do the same thing and attach it to the top of that one. I'm going to add a piece of foam right there in the center. Not too high, not too low, right in the middle of the blank portion. Hot glue the bows right on top of the foam and this is going to give me a good base to add some florals of course. I'm going to add these green leafy picks just here and there just to kind of add a texture and a nice vibrant color. These leaves are stunning. I'm going to add a couple and then I'm going to add this yellow flower right in the center. Now I feel like something else was needed on the left side so I'm just going to add a couple little leaves again and that's it. We didn't have to add anything in the back because it already had these sawtooth hooks. And I got to tell you this one's one of my favorites. I love the style. But what do you think? The next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to take this tray, another find at the Dollar Tree Plus for $5, and another one that would be perfect to sell. I'm just saying again, I think it's gorgeous. All right, we're going to take one of these medium-sized felt pads. You can find a pack at Dollar Tree, and I'm going to cut them into four equal sides. We're going to have little tiny pieces like this. We're going to flip the tray over, and we're going to place it right in each corner. This is going to have the nice angled shape that you need for each corner and it's not going to be wasteful and it's not going to be hanging on the sides or showing it's going to be nice and pretty and it's also going to allow this tray to be able to sit in any surface and not scratch it up especially if you want to sell it all right so now we're going to take another stencil this one has two stencils in one but i'm going to use the one with the pumpkins place it right inside now it's a little too large but we're going to make it work I'm going to tape it to make sure it's not going to move on me. And then we're going to keep this one very neutral. For those who love neutral uh, fall decor, this is a perfect one. But you can use any colors you want. I'm going to start stenciling using some white chalk band. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. Very little paint. Almost like dry brushing it. And then go around and about. And look how awesome that looks. I'm going to add another stencil. This one says Happy Harvest. These are all from Essential Stencil. And I can have their link down below in the description box if you want to check it out. Look how stunning that looks. Now, I felt like something else was just needed. I'm going to use some of this raffia on the handles. Now, this is not going to make a very dramatic change, but I think it added a nice neutral touch that's going to look very pretty and very professional. So just make sure that as you're wrapping it, you are tightening and pulling as you go. So it's not going to be loose and it's not going to go anywhere. And I'm just going to attach it with hot glue. It really worked really well. And I did the same thing on the other side. And I got to say, this one is stunning it is gorgeous you can use as a decorative tray which is what i did i think it's beautiful but what do you think for this next dollar tree diy craft i'm gonna take this wood round now i was doing a craft or attempting <laughs> to do something with my son it didn't work out, but I didn't get rid of the board, of course. I'm just going to cover everything up with one coat of Waverly Chalk Band in the white. And of course, we're going to let it dry. Once dry, we're going to again sand it smooth just a little bit. You don't have to press hard. This is just really smooths out that surface. And then, yes, you want to wipe because it gets really dusty. And you want to make sure everything's going to attach that you're going to attach. One more of those window clings. This one is stunning. There's a large one right in the center that says give thanks. So I'm going to add liberally quite a bit of Mod Podge right in the center, making sure that I have enough to cover the entire cling. And then we're going to pull it apart and just kind of like peel and stick. That's how easy these are to work with. I'm going to place it right in the center and then remove as many bubbles as possible. And I am going to also add another coat of Mod Podge to make sure it's sealed in. My friends, if you have not joined my email list, I would love for you to consider doing so. I email once a week with current uploads as well as any new news from my channel and business. So if you want to join, check it out. It is linked down below.
I'm not going to take these leaves. These are fall leaves that you can find at Dollar Tree. They come a whole ton in a pack. And I'm just going to start adding them here and there, just dry fitting them. I'm not looking to overwhelm the board with the leaves. And I'm also not looking for a specific pattern. I'm just kind of putting them as I feel as they look pretty. I am going to leave the top blank because I am going to place a bow. I'm going to hot glue them in place. And a little hot glue goes a long way because they're very lightweight. To the top, I do want to add a ribbon. Now, Dollar Tree has a beautiful collection of ribbon, but this one is so appropriate for the theme of the board. It has leaves, and I'm just going to make a very simple multiple loop bow, and I'm going to tie it in the center. All right, friends, one more thing I want to remind you. Don't forget that I have a new online course where it's all about crafting with power tools. If you've been thinking about integrating power tools into your crafting, this is a perfect course for you. I have all the information in a link down below in the description box. So make sure you check it out when you are done watching. All right, so I'm fluffing the bow as needed and I'm just gonna add hot glue and add it right there. That's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Such an easy craft, anyone can do it and I think it's absolutely stunning. What do you think of this one? And this is it for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which one is your favorite. And I have another video here for you with tons more fall Dollar Tree DIY craft inspiration. Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.